February 1970, Seville, once the capital of Spain's rich trade with her American colonies. Eugene Lyon came here to study Spanish colonial documents, working for his doctoral degree in history. But a chance discovery in these archives would change his life for years to come. Lyon is a native of Florida and a man engrossed in Spain's colonial past. He is perhaps one of the few men in the world capable of understanding the extraordinary document he chanced upon, the expense report of a Spaniard who sought unsuccessfully to salvage the Atocha in the 17th century. The divers have always known that both the Atocha and the partially salvaged Santa Margarita carried bars of silver. Just days before, Gene Lyon jokingly asked that a silver ingot be found. Now, he will be informed that three such bars have been brought aboard the South Wind. The office called and said they found a, a mess of silver bars down here. We came alongside the South Wind. There was a large crew of people, and there in this tub were these three blackened items. The first ingots I'd seen, in, uh, except in photographs, for, for years and years. But they looked beautiful. And we could see, even through the, the uh, silver sulfide covering the bars, that there were markings on them. At this point, I didn't know what a serial number should look like. I'd only seen it written out in Spanish. I didn't know that they would be in Roman numerals. But as soon as I saw them, I knew that's what they must be. This is the, these are the marks that show the fineness of the silver. CCCLXXX, which is 380, so it's 2 million, 2,000. I'm just guessing, uh, you know, those are the, uh, the mint mark. Lyon hopes that he can match the serial numbers on the bars with entries on the manifests of either the Atocha or the Santa Margarita.